welcome back to my channel. I wanna just pop in here real quick and make a super quick video to share a few different things. I wanna share with you some things that I got at Target, which I wanna talk about that in just a few minutes. I also need to announce a new winner for the giveaway that I had in my last um, Stamps of Life card kit video because one of the winners did not respond. So I want to announce a new winner and I also want to share some nice cards that I received for Christmas. So I want to start with announcing my new winner and these are for the sailboat dies. So the sailboat dies are going to Sandy Carroll and in her comment she says, thank you Lisa for these wonderful videos. They are so helpful. I love these cards. I think my favorite two are the grid one and the one with the three stripes applied directly to the card base. I would love to have the wreath dies which have been on my wish list for a while. The sailboat would be good as well. So that's what you're gonna be getting, Sandy, is the sailboat dies. So Sandy, hopefully you're watching this if you'll please email me, my email address will be in the description box below. I will need your mailing address and you'll need to respond by January 19th or it's going to go up for grabs for someone else. So again, go ahead and email me and congratulations, Sandy. Okay, I also want to share real quick before I get to this fun stuff, I want to share some nice cards that I received. I just got this one in the mail today and this one is from Kathy Early and she sent me this beautiful card with the polar bear from the Stamps of Life and it says Berry Christmas and I love how she used some glitter there on his hat. That is so cute. So Kathy, thank you so much for this beautiful card and for thinking of me. I also received this cute little flip it card from Vanessa and she is on the Stamps of Life design team. So thank you Vanessa for sending me this beautiful Christmas card. And I received this card from Melissa. This is from Melissa Minor, and she's one of my followers here on, actually on all my social media. And she sent me this adorable card with this mousse and it says from our home to yours. And it has this cute little pom pom on its nose and some of the snowflakes here. And she did use some of that pattern paper from one of the card kits and that scallop die from one of the Stamps of Life card, card kits as well. So thank you guys for sending me these cards and I wanna thank all of you for all the birthday wishes and for all of the Christmas wishes that you all have left on my social media. I really appreciate all of those wishes. They mean a lot to me. All right, let's go ahead and get down to this fun stuff. This stuff is from Target. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let's talk about this first and then we'll get to these containers. So this is a mailbox. It's one of those Valentine's Day mailboxes. And this, let me just say that if, if you can envision decorating this and making a little cute little mailbox, maybe even for your craft room, not just for Valentine's Day, but this is super cute. I purchased one in pink as well as in red. And I'm going to have a YouTube video coming up on how I decorated this. And I used some of the Stamps, and Stamps of Life dies and some of the papers with the die cuts. For example, the With Love paper pad that just came out in December with the love bugs. I used a lot of that paper and some hearts and different things to decorate this mailbox. And it turned out super cute. So if you like that kind of stuff, I suggest you run to your local Target and see if they have this. This was $5 and it is Spritz brand. It's a paperboard mailbox and I did see them online. I will look and see if I can find that link again and I'll link them down below. They had them in pink, red, as well as in the craft color. So these just are super cute. They have the flag and then they open and you can stick some fun things things inside. So if you have a Target or if you want to order one, I suggest you do that because I actually picked up a red one and then there was plenty there and then I went back today, picked up a pink one and there was only a couple left and that was at a different Target. So because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, they are going to be selling out 
rather quickly. Now, if you don't have a Target, I did see some craft mailboxes at Michael's when I was there as well. So if you like to decorate mailboxes, let me tell you, and you can put your happy mail in there. I just think this is so cute. It's gonna be a cute addition to my craft room. Again, if you wanna decorate with me, go ahead and pick one up. The one that I decorated is a red one. Okay, moving on. I found in the dollar section of Target. They were in the dollar section, but they were $3 a piece and I could not resist them. Look how cute they are. You know, the Stamps of Life Sweet Treats online class. This is what it reminds me of, are those stamp sets that are in that class. So this one says Sweet Like Sugar and this one says Made With Love. They also had a coffee one. I don't remember what it said, but I'm not into coffee, so I left that one behind. <laughs> anyway. This is, if you can't tell the color, this is like, this is a pink and this is a light gray, which match my craft room perfectly. And I'm just gonna use these for decoration in my craft room. But look how cute they are. They have these little lids at the top and it actually pops off and you can store stuff in here. Oh my gosh, these are so super cute. So if you have a Target and you're looking for craft room storage, this would be perfect. Look how cute these are. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna store in here, but I just wanna show you, you can store markers in here. So I just have some Copic markers. I don't have a whole lot in here and the lid will fit with those with the um, markers stored kind of like slanted, they're not straight up, that lid will still fit. But if you, if you have a lot of markers and then they need to stand up more straight, so I mean, you can actually put a whole bunch of markers in here. You can see all the room that I have. But if they need to stand up straighter, the lid will not fit. So you wouldn't be able to use the lid, but you can have that on your desk. Look how cute that is with all of your colorful markers standing up. But of course you don't have to put markers in here. You can put adhesives, you can put washi tape, you can put any type of tools, but just again, be careful because you know, the lid might not go on. So just real quick, if you do like these tens, let me just tell you how tall they are. So with the lid on, just from the lid to the bottom, they're just slightly over five inches tall. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull the lid off. And with the lid off, they're about four and three quarter inches tall. So again, I just thought they were these were super cute. They were $3 a piece, and I'm gonna use these to decorate my craft room. I think they're so cute. So thanks for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.